neighborhood always goes to hell. I don't know what's wrong with it. Whatever. It's a nice place. Thinking of sticking around later. Taking a steam. Get in. How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. Please, 
City of Chicago released a report today about the riots last month during the... downtown and about ready for a resupply. I'll head your way now. Anything you want here? Let me see what you got. Okay. Your tie don't belong here. This is a nice place. Thinking of sticking around later. Taking a steam.
Mine's so long. You think I won't shoot your take? <coughs> Run, rabbit! <coughs> It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye.
take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his very generous campaign, it was... I think we're getting shot at. With you. Spotted him! Come on! the wrong wife mother talk
for fun. Audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. 
No one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. War on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. in half. Oh, fuck up that asshole. Here's the, here's the. Get out of here. Bastard got off easy. Out of my way. I ain't seen nothing. I don't want to die. Available unit. On foot. Officers investigating. Get out of here.
Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. My boys got one of the rackets locked down, and part of our job there is to get the lay of the land, a feel for the folks who live there. Would be quite a shame to throw all that away. Jesus, shut the fuck up. My guys aren't down there boozing with the neighbors or igniting some kind of race war. They're making money. For you. That's all that matters. So forget all this hippie bullshit, and let's get to work. When you finish listening to the Who's Got the Bigger Pecker contest, I'll be here ready to take over this part of the city. Don't leave me with blue balls, her boy. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. You need to show me you serious about working together. So far, I ain't seen shit. What's the word, Lincoln? You and me, we have an understanding, right? Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh... Folks in the holla expect us to stick together. This turf's going to the Irish. We ain't your private army sitting around waiting to lock shit down when you need us. We got expectations. Expectations that you were sadly falling short of. Can't wait to get started on her, on everyone that comes after her as well. The ambiance here ain't enough to keep me coming back, brother. I think I'll excuse myself for the time being. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic. 
and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off.